Mm. That's really good. Guess what? There are seeds in this apple that can be used to test to see if Muhammad is a true prophet. Every little seed in this apple, and I think as, as far as I can tell, any apple contains a small amount of cyanide. Um, you can swallow like a hundred apple seeds. It won't do anything for you. It, it won't. It won't hurt you. However, if you chew up like say like fifty of them, you know, chew them up really good and swallow them. You'll die. It'll kill you right off the bat. Uh, depending on how much uh, cyanide uh, that tree absorbed from the ground. Um, it's not like arsenic. Arsenic builds up in your system. The more arsenic you, you eat, the more it accumulates and then eventually kills you. But with cyanide, um, you could eat like a seed a day, the cyanide's not going to build up in your system. Actually, might it actually might be good for you by uh, deoxygenating your blood, so it might uh, keep you from getting cancer. Might. But I'm saying that the seeds in this apple can be used to test to see if Muhammad is a true prophet. I'll tell you how. Muhammad said in Sahih, sound hadith, sound authentic hadith, which uh, you have to believe if you're a Sunni Muslim. Uh, to be a Sunni Muslim, you have to believe in the hadith, especially if it's hadith, it's Sahih, like Sahih Bukhari and Muslim and Sunni Abu Dawud and Majah. <sighs> anyway, Muhammad said in the, the sound hadith, Sahih, that if you eat seven Azure dates in the morning, you'll be protected all day from both magic and poison. I don't know if it'll keep uh, David Blaine from falling on your head or David Copperfield or Doug Henning or something like that. I don't, I don't think it means that. But anyway, when it comes to the poison, though, you can easily test through the apples whether or not Muhammad is a true prophet when he said... Seven, if you eat seven agile dates in the morning, you'd be protected all day from both magic and poison. So what you do is, uh, you take, you'd eat like, say, oh, maybe about 10 apples, yeah? Because each apple contains like uh, about five seeds, so that'd be 50 seeds. Eat like 10 apples, save the seeds. Set up a camera. I mean, if I were a Muslim, I was thinking of uh, uh, Abiyan Quran 9, 111, 38, and 39, like what happened in Barcelona today, where the Muslim ran down the people, killed all those cute girls. But I was if I was thinking of doing that, you know, to please Allah, by obeying the scriptures, Quran 9, 111, 38, and 39, which uh, threaten Muslims with a painful doom if they don't go forth killing and being killed the cause of law, I would first... Set up a camera so I could increase the faith of Muslims in case the Adra dates worked. And I would take five apple seeds. I wouldn't swallow them. I'd crunch them up in my teeth and swallow them. And then I'd wait a few minutes. And if nothing happened, I would take ten uh, apple seeds, crunch them up, swallow them. And uh, nothing happened. Then after a few minutes, yeah, take 15. Crunch them up and swallow them. Uh, then if I started feeling like... <sighs> I can't, you know... If, if I started yawning a lot, 
I would know that uh, the agile dates weren't working, that the cyanide was starting to kill me. Because I'll tell you, how, this is how cyanide kills you. It uh, makes it so oxygen in your blood, it, it makes it so your blood can't carry oxygen. You, you have, uh, uh, what cyanide does, it keeps the oxygen from sticking to the iron platelets in your blood cells that carry it to your body. And you literally suffocate to death. The more cyanide, the more it's like you're holding your breath. You know, it's like, a, if, for instance, if I, if I ate, uh, say, 20 apple seeds, um, probably wouldn't kill me, but I'd be thinking, <sighs> I'd be going, <laughs> I'd be yawning a lot. I'd be getting, I'd be lightheaded, feeling tired, and uh, it'd be like I was holding my breath and basically suffocating. No matter how much I was getting oxygen to my body, it it would be, it wouldn't be, it'd be like I was holding my breath, you know. And if I had like thirty of them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd be dead. But according to Muhammad, again, if you eat seven Adwa dates in the morning, you'll be protected all day from both magic and poison. And as far as I know, Adwa dates, oh, they, they come from Medina, supposedly. I mean, they, yeah. Uh, if you go on the internet, type in Adwa dates, they, they say they're from Medina. They look like, um, they look like, um, well, I, I bought some Adwa dates. Uh, this, that's what the guy said. But then again, it could have been Takiya. Could have been, they was just trying to make me, you know, buy him. Because, you know, in Islam, you're allowed to lie thanks to Quran 328, 1606, and 2225. Especially uh, lying to Muslims, not uh, to non Muslims. He could have just been telling me at the Arajwa dates. Um, I went to a Muslim market and bought him just for the halal of it. Just for the halal of it, yeah. I'm gonna tell you the best dates I've ever had. And um, but since I don't want my money going to terrorism, I uh, I don't eat many dates. I just eat them on special occasions. Because uh, when you go to a Muslim market, your money's going to terrorism. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but it is. Yeah. But anyway, if I were a Muslim, I would go to that store. Say, do you have any Adwa dates? And they say, yes, brother, we have Adwa dates. Ad Adwa dates, Adwa dates. And I would buy, say, mm, uh, a box of them, like I did. And I would buy apples. And I would collect the seeds, set up a camera. And then before I did any jihad, you know, strapping on a bomb or... Uh, throwing acid in pretty girls' faces or raping them or something like that for Allah, you know. Or, uh, again, obeying Quran 9, 11, 13, 39, uh, which, again, tells you Muslims to kill and be killed in the cause of Allah or experience a painful doom. I would test to see if Muhammad is a true prophet. I'd say, okay, all right, you blew it. You blew it when it came to the sun setting in money spring. You know, the sun doesn't set in money spring. Then ask permission of Allah to rise again. You blew it by saying the sun is that the earth is spread out on the back of a fish. Or a giant whale, and that's why Allah placed down mountains to keep down the earthquakes caused by being on that big whale or fish. Yeah, okay, you blew it with the uh, uh, saying that uh, mountains are placed down, or that embryos go through a forty-day blood clot stage. You know, because because it says it's a he hadith, and then it becomes a clot of blood. Not that it looks like it, it becomes a clot of blood for forty days. But and bet then this time you really got it right with the Adjwa dates. So, I would eat the seven Adjwa dates and then start with five apple seeds. No problem. Ten. No problem. Fifteen. And then no problem at fifty. I think, oh my gosh. Uh, I, I still might think, hmm, maybe they're, maybe I'm like Rasputin because I don't know about you, I don't know if you know anything about the story about Rasputin, the mad monk of Russia. He was given uh, cyanide laced treats to kill him. Didn't kill him. Yeah. Matter of fact, they tried to do other things to kill him. Couldn't kill, it was like they couldn't kill the guy. They think he might have been deep possessed. And, um, and he didn't even have any Adwa dates, and yet he was able to eat those cyanide treats and still live. But anyway, 
if I were Muslim and I was thinking of being Quran 911 39 I would collect the seeds from the apples eat those seven agile dates and if I survived I think mm, hey yeah maybe I'm not Rasputin maybe it was the agile dates but that's how I would test to see if Muhammad was a true prophet if I started feeling giddy after the 50, after say eating 15 uh, uh Apple seeds, I would know for sure that he was a false prophet and that this talking about eating seven agile dates to protect you all day from both magic and poison was just like him saying uh, you have to wash your nose out three times in the morning to get Satan out of it, like he says, you know. Even though Satan doesn't uh, interfere with your sense of breathing or sense of smell. Yeah. But. Mmm. I'm eating the seeds, but...